Hi guys. Hi Josiah. Hi Anthony. Ezra. Elliot. Jason. Sperry. Baby Abby. Hey, I have another book for you. It's one of my favorite books. It's called The Best Nest by P.D. Eastman. It's one of those cat in the hat books. Beginner books, but I love it. Mr. Bird was happy. He was so happy, he had to sing. This was Mr. Bird's song. I love my house. I love my nest. In all the world, my nest is best. He does look happy. I'm not quite so sure about Mama Bird, though. I can't say she looks that thrilled. Let's see what will happen next. Then... Mrs. Bird came out. It's not the best nest, she said. Uh-oh. Mr. Bird looks surprised. I'm tired of this old place, said Mrs. Bird. I hate it. Let's look for a new place right now. Hmm. I wonder where they're going to find a new place. So they left the old place to look for a new one. This place looks nice, said Mr. Bird. Let's move in here. Right in there. That does look nice. Ah! But somebody else already moved in. And the raccoon doesn't look too happy to see them. So they looked at another house. This one looks nice, said Mr. Bird, and there's nobody in it. I don't know. Would you like to live in a shoe? We'll see. Ah! You're wrong, said Mrs. Bird. This house belongs to a foot. It does belong to a foot. Hmm. So they went on looking I like this one, said Mrs. Bird. It has a pretty red flag on the roof. It does have a red flag. Ooh, look. It's got a lot of room in it, too. I've always wanted a house with a flag, said Mrs. Bird. Maybe this place will be all right. Ooh, maybe it will. <clears throat> but it was not all right. I guess I made a mistake, said Mr. Bird. Look at the mailman stuffing all the mail in there. There's no room for birds. You make too many mistakes, said Mrs. Bird. I'm going to pick the next house. And here it is, right here. Right in there. Right in the church up in the steeple. Uh, they flew in. Oh, that was Grandpa. They flew in. They looked around. Is it too big? Asked Mr. Bird. I like this big place, said Mrs. Bird. This is the place to build our new nest. Wow, that is a nice place. Look, it even has a bell. That's pretty cool. They went right to work. They needed many things to build their nest. First, they got some hay. Hay from the haystack. They got some soda straws. And they got some broom straws. And they got some sweater string. And they got some stocking string and some mattress stuffing. What else do you need to build a nest? They got some horse hair and they, they got some man hair too. Wow, they have a lot of stuff. 
Soon they had all the hay, all the straw, all the string, all the stuffing, all the horse hair, and all the man hair they could carry. They took it back to build their nest. Back in their church steeple. Mr. and Mrs. Bird worked very hard. It took them the rest of the morning to finish their nest. This nest is really the best, said Mrs. Bird. I want to stay here forever. Look at that nice job they did. That's a nice big nest. And I think they lived happily ever after. I think. Let's see. Mr. Bird was so happy, too. He flew to the top of his house. He sang his song again. I love our house. I love our nest. In all the world, our nest is best. He was so busy singing, he didn't even see Mr. Parker coming. Who is Mr. Parker? I wonder what he wants. Every day at 12 o'clock. Mr. Parker came to the church. Mr. Parker came to pull a rope. The rope went up to the bird's new nest. Hmm. Wonder what the rope does. The rope rang the big bell under Mrs. Bird's nest. Bong, 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 bong. Look at poor Mrs. Bird. Whoa. Yeah, I bet that's pretty loud. Hold on a minute. Mrs. Bird got out of there as fast as she could fly. Bong, 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 bong. But Mr. Bird, he wasn't in there. He is just coming down now. Wonder what's gonna happen. When Mr. Bird came in, all he could see was a mess of hay and string and stuffing and horse hair and man hair and straws. Where was Mrs. Bird? Where was Mrs. Bird? He didn't even know she was gone. I will look for her until I find her, said Mr. Bird. He looked high. He looked low. He looked everywhere for Mrs. Bird. Let's follow where he went. Oh, he went all over the place. Mrs. Bird, where are you? He looked down into a chimney, but Mrs. Bird wasn't there. He looked down into a water barrel, but Mrs. Bird wasn't there. Then he saw a big fat cat. There was a big fat smile on the fat cat's face. There were some pretty brown feathers near the fat cat's mouth. Mr. Bird began to cry. Oh dear, he cried. This big fat cat has eaten Mrs. Bird. Oh no. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a happy story. Oh no. Mr. Bird flew off. I'll never see Mrs. Bird again, he cried. It was getting dark. It began to rain. It rained harder and harder. Mr. Bird could not see where he was going. Poor Mr. Bird. Crash! Mr. Bird bumped into something. It was his old home, that old, old house that Mrs. Bird hated. I'll go inside, said Mr. Bird. I'll rest here until the rain stops.
Mr. Bird went in, and there was Mrs. Bird, sitting there, singing. I love my house, I love my nest, in all the world this nest is best. Wow, why is she so happy? I thought she didn't like that house. Mr. Bird looks pretty surprised. You, here, he gasped. I thought you hated this old nest. I thought she did too. Mrs. Bird smiled. I used to hate it, she said, but a mother bird can change her mind. You see, there's no nest like an old nest for a brand new bird. She has an egg. There's going to be a baby bird. Oh. And when the egg popped open, the new bird thought so too. Yay! They're a happy family. The best nest. I love this book. I bet your mommies and daddies remember this book, too, because it was one of my favorites to read to them. Love you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon.